Hey everyone, it's Sean with PP Tactical. Today we're doing a hot wash of the Ruger LC carbine. Check it out. All right, before we jump in, we'd like to thank our friends over at Silencer Shop for sponsoring this video. You probably know them from their kiosks at your local gun store. Speaking of suppressors, we want to start out with this Ruger LC carbine. One of the first features that we notice at the muzzle here is that it has a threaded barrel. It's half by 28. Moving back, a pretty nice rail section here with M lock on both sides. You've got pick rail running all the way down the top. And it also comes with these pop up sights from Ruger. They remind me of Magpul Embus very much, but they're a pretty nice addition and they do come with the gun. Coming back, you've got a charging handle here on the left side. Now, those of you familiar with the Ruger PCC know that the option to install that on either side is pretty handy. I always ran mine on the left side because I like running all the stuff on the right, having my trigger finger uh, just dedicated to that purpose. Coming back to the uh, middle here, Ruger had a departure from the PCC and that the magazine actually goes into the grip. Now, those of you familiar with the PC know that there's a mag well more centrally located in the gun. This is different, but there's a really good reason, and we'll get into that in a little bit. As far as the controls, you've got the magazine release right here, which it is ambidextrous from what I understand. You've got your bolt release right there, and then your fire control is also ambidextrous. And then you've got this really nice folding buttstock at the end, which also is adjustable for a few different positions. And thankfully has a pretty nice piece for your cheek right there. All right, so let's talk about ergonomics on this thing and then we will jump into the trigger before we talk about accuracy. First off, those of you familiar with the PCC are gonna recognize that there's no magwell up here. Instead, we are actually loading into the grip very similar to Ruger's 5.7 pistol. And there's a pretty cool conjunction with that. Also right here, we're gonna drop the bolt. That's handy, you can get to it with your right thumb. The mag release is interesting in that it's not a recessed button in a well, it's just a lever that sticks out and you pull down on it to drop the mag. This is, like I said, ambidextrous. And then of course your fire controls are right here. Okay, and then getting back to the buttstock, one of the nicer features is being able to fold it. Pushing this button on the side, hinge it over, and it actually locks into place here. It's not gonna go anywhere, you can't pull it open. You literally have to lift up on it and then lock it into place before you fire. All right, let's talk about the trigger. Got a little bit of a build up here. Before you hit a wall, now I'm going to break the shot. Trigger reset, goes out a little ways. And there's a soft click that you can also feel. Back in. And breaking the shot again. It's pretty good trigger. Now you might wonder why Ruger would have such a departure with their magwell. The PCC, it's up here. But... Since the days, at least of the Cowboys, people have looked for a solution that would allow them to shoot the same cartridge out of their rifle as their pistol. Ruger went a step further and they actually made the magazines interchangeable. Pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna be testing accuracy here and we're not doing anything too crazy, not shooting MOA, but we mounted up the Vortex AMG UH-1. And this is a cool holographic sight that uh, we're just gonna be using to try to ring steel at 100 yards here. Pretty accurate. Ah, only comes with one magazine. All right, folks, so what do we think about the LC carbine here from Ruger? First off, 
several things that I like about it. It is very light, just under six pounds. Uh, it's got a 16.25 inch barrel and it's fluted. If you get in there pretty tight, you can actually see the fluting on there and that helps it be a little bit lighter overall. Again, it's very accurate. We didn't do a whole lot of testing on it, but everything that we did was uh, demonstrative of its reliability overall. Ammo for 5.7 right now is extremely expensive. I dropped around earlier and we almost called search and rescue or at least initiated a treasure hunt. But I really like this gun and I think it's a, a pretty cool addition, especially if you already have the Ruger 5.7 pistol. Uh, it's going to make a lot of sense for you to pair these two things together. Price right now, it's listed at $979 retail on the Ruger website, but I'm seeing them for a couple of hundred dollars less than that. So if you're in the market for a 5.7 carbine, this is the way to go right here. Oh, oh, hey, wait, before you go, head over to pewpewtactical.com to check out the full review where you'll get specs and everything else about the Ruger LC carbine. Thank you for watching.